there are eight intervals, right? There are eight sections. Each sections are two seconds long, and different thing happens at each section. Is uh, at zero to two second, the object moves uh, two meters with constant velocity. Okay. From two to four second, two to four second object at rest. Two to four second object at rest. From four to six second, object moves to just object speeds up, moves additional two meter. Uh, so six and from two to four all right so this is going to go to six and this is going to go to four so object is speed up object is speed up moves additional what two meter from six to eight second object is slow down and moves only one meter okay so at five 5 goes to 8 and 8 goes to 5. 5 goes to uh, 8 goes to 5, 5 goes to 8. Okay, great. So now look what happened. This one has to, this one has to slow down. Oh, no, no, no. Slow down. Uh, has to be parabolic. Okay, slow down and 0. Okay, covering only the distance of 1 meter. Okay. And now it is speeding up and covering distance of negative three meter. Okay, so it is speeding up uh, next two second. So from eight to two, eight to ten second, it covers three meter. Three meter means from five to four to three to two. So these are the three meter. Okay, great. So it's gonna be um, two. It's gonna be at two. So ten goes to two. Two goes to ten. Okay. So 10 goes to 2, 2 goes to 10. I'm not sure where exactly it is going to be. All right. All right. Okay. All right. And the next uh, uh, two seconds, it slow down and moves only. When you slow down, you don't cover that much distance. So it covers only negative one meter, which is the displacement. So From 10 to 12, it covers just negative 1 meter. So you see uh, 2 to 1, so it's just 1 meter. Okay, this goes to right here. Ah, I don't need it. Okay. Okay, so it's slow down. Okay. 12 to 14 is at rest. 12 to 14 is resting. And 14 to 16 is moved with constant velocity backward, covering only one meter. Okay, so we're going to now divide and conquer. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now let's find out. Let's remind us something. It covers two meter here. It covers um, two meter here. It covers zero meter. It covers two meter. It covers one meter. It covers negative three meter. It covers negative one meter. Zero meter, negative one meter. So let's check whether uh, it comes over here. So displacement, final total displacement should be zero. So five over here. So five over there. So let's check. And also we need that. We need that to. Uh, to do our business. The business is if this is a positive forward constant velocity, a diagonal line, this has to be a horizontal line. Okay. So this has to be a horizontal line. So this is two, two divided by two, which is one. So this is one. Okay. This the slope of this one is zero, which is easy. The slope of this one is okay. The area, so this is a curve, so this must be diagonal line, which make a triangle. So the area of a triangle is half BH. Area is two, base is two, H. So velocity for, velocity over here is of course zero. Uh, 
all right so velocity over here is zero and velocity over here is is two so velocity over here is two so two so i'm going to write two over here so then i'm going to make a connection so this is the search okay great now velocity over here is two velocity over here is zero right okay so velocity over here is two but it covers only one meter so i cannot go like this if i go like this this is also negative two if this if this is two this is negative two then uh, this is also two then it doesn't match this says is one this is two it doesn't match this is two this is two it match this is zero this is zero it match this is two this is two it match how this is two this is half a bh half the time from here to here is six minus four is two and h is this one is two right two to cancel so this is just two okay great this is two no this is one so that must not start from here where does where does this one start okay let's see where is actually start this one also a card area of the car is a triangle so triangle is half bh and area is one base is two h okay so velocity is one so this velocity is actually start from here all right so there is a drop okay there is a change in velocity okay now i can connect it now this area is one okay how d is half of bh half and eight minus six is two and h h is one so this is one okay and it matches with here okay then, then that's good that's good oh we have to make it longer okay, not sure how long this is negative three. We know this is curved, so this makes a triangle. So triangle is A is equal to A is equal to half B H. So negative three is equal to half two H. So this is negative three. Wow. So this must be negative three. So this must be negative three. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Put a dot over here and i'm going to make sure this is negative three and i'll write negative three over here how do i know this is negative three because half bh half this is two because 10 minus eight is two and h is negative three it's two to cancel the displacement is negative three okay great and that track now if i put this one like this this is going to be also negative three but hey I don't have negative three, I have negative one. So I have to be very careful, very careful before I make mistake. So I know that this one is car and car makes a triangle and triangle is area is half a BH and area is negative one and base is uh, the time which is delta T which is two. So this is negative one. So this is instead of negative three, I'm going to go to negative one. So this is negative one, negative one. So then I can say this is negative one. The slope of this one is zero. Of course, you can easily say that. This one is zero. The slope of this one is, of course, negative. But uh, hey, this is negative one, negative one divided by two, which is uh, negative 0.5 so make sure you don't do here you don't do it here you do it half because it's negative not negative one negative 0.5 so this is negative 0.5 this is negative 0.5 okay so this is negative one okay now your graph is good now you can go ahead and shade your graph this is what are you going to be shading and when you shade it you shade it nicely
hopefully today uh, today's test to give you a learning opportunity something that you should know let's use blue color okay and this is that's it i'm going to use the yellow to now write the value this is two this is zero this is two this is one this is negative three this is negative one this is negative one so total displacement is zero and total distance is 10. the slope of a zero is zero the slope of a positive diagonal line is a positive horizontal line okay positive horizontal line but we have to know the uh, the slope of this one the slope of this one is acceleration acceleration is vf which is 2 minus vi which is 0 divided by 2 so this is 1 so this is 1 okay all right now you have to know this one this one is negative okay why is negative so because vf minus vi over 2 vf is 0 uh, minus vi is 1 over 2 so this is negative half so negative half is 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 right here right here so this is negative half okay all right so now we're gonna have to do this one this is uh even more negative so vf minus vi over two what is vf negative three what is vi zero divided by two so this is negative uh 1.5 so this is negative 1.5 so negative negative 1.5 yeah okay so far so good now this is uh positive why is that because vf minus vi over 2 what is vf vf is 0 what is vi vi is uh, is 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 negative 1 okay so negative 1 over 2 so this is positive half this one is positive half this one is positive half. Huh? Okay, great. Okay, so now that's it. And the slope of this one is zero. And slope of this one is zero. So now I'm going to make it more colorful if I can. So this is like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, great. All right. Um, all right. That's it. Now we have to do the equation at section four. So this is section one, two, three, four. You have to find the equation here. Okay. Um, so now let's let's find the equations. Okay. First, we're gonna find the equation for uh, for section four PT. So for section four, I have uh, six comma. 6 comma 3 and then I have 8 comma 5 8 comma 5 so y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k so 8 comma 5 is h and k this is x and y so 3 is equal to a x is 6 minus h squared plus k is 5 so 3 is equal to 4a plus 5 so 4a is equal to is that right everything is right okay so 3 6 comma 3 no it's 6 comma 4 actually not 3 6 comma 4 this is 6 comma 4 6 comma 4 so this is 4 this is 4 okay the problem is um, there is no greed over here so i cannot can I see it well? Okay. All right. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, this is correct. Okay. Hopefully. Negative 1 is equal to 40. A is equal to negative 1 over 4. So, Y is equal to A negative 1 over 4. X minus 8 is uh, plus 5. Right? So, this is good. If you gave me this one, I'm, I'm more than happy. But... Uh, what you actually should give me is this one y is equal to negative 1 over 4 and this become x squared uh, minus 16x uh, plus uh, 64 plus 5 so y is equal to 
minus 1 over 4x squared plus 4x uh, minus 16 plus 5. So finally, y is equal to, so your equation become uh, y p of t is equal to negative 1 over 4 t squared plus 4 t uh, minus 11. Okay, or p of t is equal to negative 1 over 4 x minus 80 squared plus 5. They both are the same. And that's section 4. That's section 4. Now we have to find the equation of the velocity function at section, I believe, 5. Yeah, section 5. Okay, so Vf is equal to section 5. So Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Uh, this way we can find it. So Vf is equal to Vi plus Atf minus Ti. Okay, so what are the point? Section 5, I have this one. Uh, time is 8. 8 comma 0, velocity is 0. And I have here is negative 3. So 10, velocity is negative 3. Okay. All right, so I can use one of those points. I don't know which one. They're both going to give me the same thing. Vf is equal to, if V initial is 0, I can use uh, 8 as a time. Okay. Yeah. It's, if I use 0 over here plus acceleration. So let's find the acceleration. Acceleration is Vf minus Vi over 2. So Vf, we are talking about section 5. Vf is negative 3 negative vi is um, 0 over 2. So negative 3 over 2. So negative 3, negative 3 over 2, t minus h. Okay? So vf is equal to negative 3 over 2t plus 4. Okay. So that's section 5. This is section 4. This is V of t is equal to negative 3 over 2 t plus 12. This is section 5. Okay, now we're going to have to find the acceleration, and which is right here, section 4. And acceleration is super easy. Acceleration is super easy because section 4 acceleration is negative half. It is negative half section four. Okay. In the future, when you uh, learn the derivative, so you can say p of t is equal to negative four, one over four t squared plus four t minus eleven. So you can say first derivative, which is v of v, uh, which is velocity is equal to negative 1 over 4 times 2 t plus 4 which becomes what uh, so negative half t plus 4 if you take the second derivative which is acceleration has become negative half Yeah, that's it. Negative half. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can check. This works. Now, the last problem I ask you is probably the speed. The speed is total speed. Uh, average speed is take the absolute value of this thing. 2 plus 2 plus 1. 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10 divided by 16. This is 0 0.63 meter per second. 